Hey folks, Johnny here with Dan and welcome to tonight's event where we're going to be talking about some very exciting news in the world of Mantic. We've got lots and lots to talk about including the biggest news that you may have been seeing some hints of. What could that be Johnny? Over the week. We'll find out. <laughs> um, but first of all, you want to talk about resin. Yeah, absolutely. So we thought we'd start off by doing something unusual. We thought we'd take you behind the scenes here at Mantic, show you a little bit of the, uh, the organised chaos and how we <laughs> how we pull our crazy ideas into reality. So you've seen Ronnie's plastics video. Uh, if you haven't already, we'll post a link to it. Yep. But it's a video where Ronnie went round round on the factory we're now using for our latest super high quality hard plastics, Beautiful of which hard there's going to be an awful lot more coming. And that was one of the most popular videos we've ever done. Hmm. So today we thought we'd show you how we do the same with resin, which we actually do in-house, hand cast, here in Nottingham, and show you how that process works. So, handing over to our special correspondent, Lieutenant Chard. So you've seen from that just how intensive a process it is to do the to do the resin behind the scenes, how many people are involved, how skilled it is, um, how many people it takes to hand cast resin. What we end up with though is a fantastic product, really good quality control, and we end up with something that is great to work with and hobby with. But we do also like to try and make things quick, easy, and give you other ways of getting your models where possible. So we have some massive news. You'll have seen the vault plastered all around social media recently and wondering what on earth is that? Well, massive news, drum roll. Over to Ronnie to explain more. Hello everybody, Ronnie here. And we're about to talk about all things vaults. Now I think you might have an idea where we're going, but for the record, Clive, what madness have you got us involved in? So Mantic Vault, quite simply, is our answer to a STL subscription program where you can join up and get a load of cool models monthly for you to print at home on your 3D printer. Right, firstly, you know, all those words he just said, they sound like gibberish, or Luddite like me. But let's just examine kind of, well, you know, we'll talk through in the next five minutes, what it is, why, why it makes sense, and uh, you know, what people want to do if they want to get, get involved in that. Sure. So I mean, firstly, let's teasing it out. We sent out a newsletter earlier today, which is why you're all here. Hi, everybody. Saying, hi, come along and hear about the vaults. And there were some links to free boats. Yeah, which would be these boats. Obviously, these are our nicely studio painted ones, but I'm sure you can paint them at home after you've printed them. But these are the two models you get free just for registering on the site. 
So forgive it, I'm in the Luddite here. This link will allow me to go down and register on the site. Yeah. Uh, there we are. And then in that folder, there will be these boats. And then people take these and print them on their 3D printers. Yeah. You know, talk us old people through it. Right. So what, at the end of it, you've got your boat. So you go on the website, yeah. you'll register, create Great. an account. Um, that's the only step you really need to do at the moment to get these free boats. Um, you'll get the files for the hull, the sails. You just slice them in your program at home, stick them whatever printer you may have, and then print those files. They'll then come out as nice resin models right. that you can glue, paint, play, and do, do everything you would. Do all the normal things you would do. With, okay. All the normal I think it's things. worth saying if you've got a Mantic, if you're already registered for the Mantic Companion, I think you're yeah. registered, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. So it's the same. Cool. It's the same login details. I think you've got one with the other. So um, you, you have to fiddle around. But there we are. With the same details. You might be on two different sites, but you can use the same details that recognise you. So that's good. Okay. So then I could take my freebie downloadable uh, Armada rules and I've got those and I can play the game. You can, yeah. There we are. So there that's we are. Different. That's brilliant. Thanks very much for joining. No, there's more, isn't there? Lots more. There is lots Tons more. more. Right, okay. So people have got their companion, um, which I think is two ways. There's lots and lots of free. There's two free yeah. army lists for every single game we do. There's some ambush rules and getting started rules for every game we do as well. Yeah. Those that have gone the one step, the tournament players, the more hardcore people who want, can't get stuff to wherever they live, might have a subscription. Yes. Um, this is separate to that. This is a, an STL thing. Yeah. So imagine it's just like a bolt on top. Everything you've just said, now there's an option to buy STL files to complement everything that you've already got in there for free or paid, however you subscribe. Um, so all those lists you make, you can now effectively print the models for those lists. Okay. They're available in the program. So these are official models. They're you know tournament legal, as they say. But let's just talk about. So let's take Armada first. I think that's going to be our first release over the coming few months. Certainly a big part of it. Yeah. Uh, so how do I? So tell tell me how it's going to work. I've got I've got you know I've got I take out a subscription. What yep. does it allow me to do? And how is it going to unfold over the next three or four months? So. I'll take the first month because that one obviously everyone's going to want to see it and something called a welcome pack. Right. So the first thing you notice when you subscribe, regardless of what month we may be releasing, is the welcome pack. Okay. So in there will be a selection of models that grows over time. Um, you'll get elements from our sci-fi games, elements from fantasy games, some boat stuff, some terrain stuff. It's like a snapshot of what makes Mantic cool. Okay. For you to print at home. And, and, and for example, these the terrain pieces, are they from our terrain crate or are these unique pieces that are... Some are unique pieces okay. that, that we just couldn't get away with tooling and so, putting okay. out. So I think um, the traps were one we looked yeah, at there's where some, there's a few interesting new dungeon traps that yeah. aren't on the tool. That's right. And here we go. And there's okay. a massive fauna buggy in plant thing that you could use as a monster and all sorts of deal. Okay, so, so we've just had a bit of fun here. Just, yeah. little, it runs the gamut of all of our ranges. No matter yeah. when you subscribe, you get that welcome pack. You do, and, and it as, grows over time. As we keep adding more things in, here's a new unique model or something special, we'll whack it in and okay, you'll get that. If exactly. you've got a subscription after six months, we add something, you'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the welcome pack is just always going to grow and improve in value and show off what we do. Great. Um, Month one. Month one is mainly focused around a couple of kind of images. You've got the boat, which is giving you what constitutes the starter and a booster set for the Basilians and the Orcs. Okay. So from month one, day one, minute one you subscribe, you could potentially get a whole Orc fleet printing, a whole Basilian fleet So I'm now not just getting one boat, I'm getting the, you know, all the rest of the, of the boats in that Basilian. Everything thing. except for an XL, like right. the monolith, yeah. or the flyers. Okay, so you're okay, going to so get, you're gonna get you know, starter set and booster set. What we launched, when we launched Armada in that first month, yes, that's now there for print. Yep, in month one, day one, ready to go. And so if you've got your companion app and that, you can now play the game, print the ships, and you play. You can. Done, done and done You're and done. Almost done. There's actually more to it than that. Okay. You, you also get some scenery upgrades. So you you know in the Armada box set, you've got cardboard scenery islands and things like that. Yeah. So we, we've actually made some 3D versions of those. Okay. So you can replace those cardboard with the exact same size and shape. 3D printed islands and little so rocks. Even if you've got a Armada fleet, it's all painted and everything else, there's things in there that you can go, ooh, you know what, I'm just going to go yeah, print myself exactly. a little terrain, terrain. So if you're a, 
Armada Fanatic, if you like. Yeah. There's something in there that's never been released before, so that's quite good fun. Exactly. Or a nutter like me and want six bomb boats, but I just print six bomb boats in a row and now I've got six ready for my fleet. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. And then also all those things where I need one of these to complete my fleet out. So yes. You can personalise it, you can tweak up. And, and, and they'll be the same scale and the same They are. This size. one's 3D printed. Okay. And it's, so, it's right there next to our normal is. stuff. So it's just, you just add the boats and the fleets that you want. Now I do notice they're slightly different size down so there. So this is another marvel of 3D printing in the maybe, say you want to do a diorama. Uh, this is the size of a normal armada ship, but the camera might be that up. So me being a bit crazy, I decided to shrink it to about 40% of its correct size. And so I've got small ones, so I can create little dioramas of small tiny ships. Or maybe 20 years ago you played an alternative... Yeah, like that time travel and go back, yes. No, I'm just saying a fantasy boat game that was a different scale than Armada was, you could possibly... Man, that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Okay, so if the people out there that want to do those types of things, yes. you can do that. I mean, yeah, that, that one was a monolith. That, that's no. the proper size. <laughs> That's, That's the, the little ditty size. For, for other alternative game systems out there, you can, yeah. so you, can, you can trick them, you can make them work for yourselves and so on and so on. But you can truly, in that cases, I've done this, you can blow them up too. So you can make ships that are like four feet long. I did you want to bring that in, actually, because it was fairly impressive. Uh, act of lunacy, but fairly <laughs> impressive. Okay, but you're not just getting Armada. No. Um, the first month will also include the first big kind of 3D move for our Kings of War IP. So we're going to take the Storm in the Shires. Right. Really good start set. Yes. Cool models. Halflings and Rip Roar I think. Lots. Yes. So right. one, of the, one of the pains we hear from our customers and fans is wanting to run hordes and hordes of things that are resin. Yeah. And, you know, this Star Wars is, is, a, is a classic. So, and I, you know, chatted about this. We didn't have room on the tool to add the two handed weapons and the, the armored heads. And so we make those in resin. And I think you've just seen a video about our resin process and just how complicated it is. Plop up, once we've taken a lot of early pain on a plastic sprue, from that point onwards, it just keeps coming. We put it in a box, we ship it anywhere to you. Wonderful. But making resin, always hand cast, niche cottage industry. And if you're building um, some Star Wars, you probably need 40 of them to make a hoard. And that means you need to buy four boxes of this. And although they're very reasonable at 35 quid, even when you buy four of them, 50 bucks, that's only 200 bucks for a, for a horde regiment. Not now, anymore. Not going to have to do that anymore. No, you just have to subscribe. And in month one, day one, ready to go, we've got an upgrade to this box that essentially gives you all of the resin arms and head options for the halflings. So you can run poachers, Star Wars, anything you want on the yeah. cab. All you need is the plastic sprue, and now you can 3D print all the unit so options. So you've got you the plastic sprues in here, you can buy an ambush set. So as yeah. you're spanning out your army, spend a sensible amount of money. And what and I think it works romantic too, you know, hand casting this resin is difficult. There's certain bits we love to do that make sense, there's certain bits that just don't, and why we're sending 10 heads around the world uh, out for every retailer. Uh, now let's just keep the plastics in stock fill out on those, um, you know, and, and away you go and add the tweaks and the unique bits to your army from your printer. And so I think for everybody, and the planet, we're not shipping resin around the world, you just can take it out and print it at home. So there's things that are, not, not, you know, that you just need tons of. Yes. There's a few other things as well that we put into resin, isn't there, for the Kings of War yeah. as you're building these armies out. Well, you know, sometimes you want a nice smash face, Rift Forged Orc Army with lots of really cool flyers that hit like a ton of bricks. And buying hordes and hordes of those, again, kind of feels like a barrier to entry. Yeah. And um, Mantic has never really had barriers to entry, so we want to try and fix that too. Um, so they're a little bit smaller than you would normally have them printed. Well, you can print these at 28 mil. They come, they come 28 ready mil, to print at 28 mil. Right. So you um, shrunk them because you're in that case. I have shrunk them, yes, yeah. because, you know, I like changing sizes and doing big and small. So that would be one rift, what are they called now? On manticles? Yeah. I can't remember the unit name because, you know. And, then, and this is a unit on Here you go. That's so all of so them. You can haul them there so you can print them off and yeah. you can start adding these big chunky things to your army, which are a pain for us to print, a uh, pain for us to cast in resin because they're multiple parts and you need to buy lots of them. If, now, 
I, I don't. I, well, I do have three STL printers, but they're at work. You know, I don't know how to. But I've certainly no idea how to use them. That's and my so room. <laughs> I would. I would go out and, and and still buy these, and I'd just buy the army deals. But for those that yeah. want to do it this way, here it is. So you've got yeah. a game, the game itself, the Armada game. And here's the plan. And what we're releasing fleet after fleet after fleet. It's a little bit of a surprise. So we we we've, we we've fleshed out enough there. I think there's three, four, maybe five fleets that will appear to start with. Over room. the next five, six months. I yeah, mean, it's, yeah, it's okay, quite it's not, front loaded. There's a okay, lot so we, to we, start. This isn't two years with you're not no. subscribing. It's not one of those Agostini part works that you're going to finish your uh, Basilean fleet. In you'll 20, be seeing things like the Empire of Dust and some dwarves. You, okay, you, so you're going to similarly roll out like our retail launch rolled out. Similarly, yeah. You know, as in stuff's coming, front loaded to get you going because we we'll let yeah. everyone to have a go at it. And all the toys Armies, are in there. One a month. So that the Halflings and Reforged um, this one. But we're still doing yeah. Kings of War each coming along. Some months we'll have Kings of War content, some will have Armada, some will have both, some will have Firefight, Dead okay. Zone. There, there's so a the whole, smattering of everything. Okay, so there's themes running through it. Some for and everything. if I'm, you know, say, I'm, thank you, Simon, I, I want the Halfling army, you just go and pick the month it was in. Be super reasonable. And in, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying six months' time, I start collecting Halfling yeah. army. I go back and I can go click out. I can. So switch. you'll be able to buy missed packs, missed months at a later date. Right. So you could come on board six months down the line and go, wow, I missed out on loads. Yeah. Or I fancy building a halfling army now. All I've got to do is go through the app, go back to month one and buy that pack because I missed it. Okay. And now I've got all those files, I can carry them. Okay, great. Um, so it's not w w once and gone forever. Obviously, when you subscribe, because then you can yeah. just keep getting new things. But if you are doing a halfling army four months from now, it's not gone forever, forever, no, it's forever. One, once, once you've bought that pack, it's yours. It stays in your vault. Bring what the you bring the, the cavalry, what have you. Okay, yeah. good. Um, well, I mean, it all sounds terribly exciting. Sure. Now, I think we just want to talk briefly about cost. Yeah. So what is it? what does it cost you monthly if you're just a normal, uh, one of these STL, what, um, one of me. Yeah, correct. Yeah. One of those people who do this STL. It's kind of like a hobby, but just different. So the, the crazy of the STL, lots of out there, and we're hoping that this will open up Mantic to a whole new audience. Yeah. You know, we're doing really great recruiting people at the moment. Yeah. We want more, more people to play Armada, more to play Kings of War. Yeah. We're hoping this will unlock that for them. How much are those chaps going to have to pay? I think we settled on £10 a month for non-companion subscribers. Okay, so that seems very reasonable for yeah. all of the models we've ever made. For an Armada game, so that's kind of slightly frightening for <laughs> Almost my all. Yeah. Let's set the expectation. Almost. Okay, so almost all, all, but lots and lots of both for yeah. very reasonable amount of money. And if there, I think there might be a discount on that for yeah, the first so months or however long it is or whatever. No, it's intro it's, promo. There is an early bird. Okay. So whereby you'll get it at a reduced price. Okay. Um, so yeah. if you are interested, go grab it yes. sooner rather than later. There'll be a, if you lock in that price, you'll have that price forever. You will. If you're locked in as an early bird, you'll get that discounted price for the lifetime of your subscriptions. Perfect. Um, okay, that sounds good. And now we've done a special super mega deal for I our think it's companion. Like half price if you're already on the companion. Okay. So we've really seriously whacked the discount through for those loyal yeah. customers that are with us on the companion. You've got the rules, have the boats, have yeah. your army deals, and it's kind of a you know a, a, a monthly. Uh, step into Mantic, which we're very thankful for. Thank you, you know, everyone that currently subscribes and knows that will. It really does help us keep supporting our games and uh, keep us growing the community. So thank you. And um, half price for those chaps. I think it's ladies. even less than half price if Is you're it? an early bird. It's okay. So if you're an early bird thing, geeks, and well, yeah. I think we're thinking ten pounds a month always. Is it something like that? That's all in, yeah. So you're going to get all the rules, all of what we do, and every month's release is coming out. So those of you that do this kind of thing, uh, firstly, you know, wow, and secondly. Come join us on Mantic Companion. Don't leave just yet. We're going to go back to uh, Dan and Johnny in the studio who have loads more cool things. What else is coming out for Armada? And very, very cool show offs with all of the um, exciting other things that are coming. So please stay tuned for when you're ready. And after this video, pop along to the, um, to the Mantic Vaults. Go get your free boats and see if you want to subscribe. Thank you. So, as you can see, there has never been a better time to get into Armada with the Vault helping out with that as well. But we have had lots of fantastic new releases recently too, haven't we? Such as? It has. It's been a brilliant year for Armada so far. So we started off with the Trident Realm, yeah. bringing Leviathans and all sorts of brilliant sea beasties into the game. 
fantastic looking uh, models as well, aren't they? And something a bit more more fun and uh, unusual to uh, to add into the uh, fleets of boats as well. Yeah, um, and of course it's on the companion now, so all the rules are there. You can go build your fleets, and there's some fantastic new abilities on there as well in terms of actually playing the game with the companion to be able to mark your damage and things like that. It's really fantastic. So our next move was to launch Armada on Warhol and it set sail on the digital ocean. So now you can <laughs> battle against your friends even on those days when you can't get together or if you've got friends internationally that play it. So that's been really interesting. And that's launched with uh, Basileans and Orcs to start with, but there's more coming as well. Uh, I'm going to pass over to Hugo in a bit to talk a little more about Warhol. Yeah, definitely. It's a really good way of uh, learning how you want maybe play a fleet as well and then learning those tactics and stuff. Well, uh, and try out new new boats, exactly, work, work yeah, out what you yeah. want to add next. Yeah, really which, exciting which now, Which now you can do in either resin or very soon in STLs. In STLs, yeah, exactly. And then we've also got the Seas of Dread book, which has so many new ways of playing the game as well. There we go, our beautiful assistant showing that off. Um, so you've got new ways to play multiplayer games. We've got ghost fleets and pirate fleet <coughs> rules now, which means everyone's been crying out for pirates for a while now, and we've, we've done that, and it's uh, super exciting to, uh, to be able to see those, uh, those rules. Well, the other thing as well is ghosts. Everyone's jumped on ghosts because they're the easiest things to paint. It's, <laughs> uh, it's a base coat, a bit of wash, a bit of dry brush, and yeah. you're pretty much done. Can't move for ghost fleets in the middle office at the and moment. Because you can use other boats. If you've got leftover boats from other Armada projects, Yes, yeah. You're already part way there. Yeah. So it's a really it's a really good one, even just have a quick go at. Yeah, fantastic. And with the Seas of Dread supplement as well, there are scenery, interactive scenery, okay. and sea volcanoes. monsters, volcanoes. Um, these are all great just if you just want them as nice resin scenery packs um, for your games of Armada, but also have interactive rules within the book as well. So things like the volcano, it's gonna explode, it's gonna cause <laughs> untold chaos when you're, you're trying to manoeuvre around the enemy, let alone winds of uh, forces of nature as well in that, uh, in that respect. Uh, and then finally, we've got different ways to play. So more scenarios for those of you who've had the Caesar Flame book previously, you, you know that came with loads of extra scenarios. It added in new rules, fortifications. Mm -hmm. This time, um, you know, we've got lots of new scenery, lots of new interactive scenery, but we also have a whole new boatload of scenarios all boatload over again. Of scenarios. Boat scenarios. <laughs> Make a splash. Oh dear. So next up we're going to pass over to Hugo from Warhol who's going to introduce the platform for those of you who haven't been on it yet, show you how it works, give you a demonstration as a game demo and then after that stay tuned and come back because we're going to show you the next fleet that's coming to Armada. Hello everyone, I'm Hugo from the Warhol team and today we're going to have a hands-on practice on Warhol Armada. First of all, you need to download Warhol, install it, put in your Warhol credentials from your Warhol account and log in. You will access the lobby when you can see the different games going on. All you have to do to start a new game is to create here in the new room Armada button and then create a room. You can even make it public or private. And if you're looking for opponent, if you want somebody to join and play, you just select this button. Uh, your, your room will have a green halo around it, and that will show all the players that you're waiting for an opponent. So you go ahead here and create a room, and we'll welcome to the open seas of the world of Panithor. To summon our fleet, first thing we can do is we go create import army, and here we connect our account to um, Mantix companion and we have access to all our companion lists here so we have all our factions and all the lists for each faction you can just select one list and deploy it you can choose a different color for the basis of, of our army just to be able to differentiate it from our opponent if he would have to have the same fleet here we see our Basilean summoned beautiful ships here in Warhol, we have a wide set of tools and, and different ways you can do measurement. To move a unit, you just have to select it and drag it, as easy as that. If you want to drag it on a straight line, you select it and you can hold shift to move it on a straight line or to the sides. And you will see in the chat that it shows you in blue instead of in black. That means it wasn't on, on a straight move. 
Another way to move the boats in Armada is you can click this straight move button here and the ship will move dire directly forward its amount of movement here. You can undo any kind of action with this undo button here or redo it as well. You can also use Ctrl C to turn around the ship over the center you use this little handle here or you can pivot the ship is limited to the ship's movement so in this case 30 degrees uh, a ship that has a bigger turning angle would have would limited to 45 there so you can just take your ship do your pivot move it forward pivot again move it forward you can measure distances from sh between ships by using this button over here, the vision tool. This shows different arcs, uh, the different distances for the different weapons. So in this case, the indirect has a range of 22. We also mark two, three, and eight inches that I use for other things. You can shoot at an enemy ship just by firing your guns here. So say our abyss here is going to shoot the Gore Panther over here. So you can just indicate I'm shooting the ship over here. You select your abyss and click on, on, your, on your cannons. You will see that it's th those cannons are automatically fired on the chat there. You see that this will be marked as fired and the uh, boat, the ships gets set as activated. You can at any moment change the activation of a, uh, of a ship by clicking this button over here. And also when you pass your turn over here, it will clear all fired and activation from all the ships you have. So let's add some action in here. And then when we click the pass turn here and turn, you see it will tell you, are you sure you want to pass your turn? You cannot undo it. When you click yes, everything gets clear. In Armada, you can also change this line here. It's used for the winds. So if you want to have a north wind, you just click this token over here. You get the north wind. You select this ruler and you move it forward. And then you would you have your activation line right there. You click it on one of these corners. You see your activation line gets just like this. In Warhol, it's also very easy to see the um, ship's speed. You can just look at their wake over here to get a hint of what their speed is. So you can change the speed with the button over here. Go to battle speed, to full speed, back to grounded. Um, you can always, if you want, use uh, a token and, use, and play the exact same way you do on, on the tabletop. So when you have fired your guns at your opponent or you're doing a, a boarding action, you can just click here on the crew strength uh, to perform your attacks and if you want to add uh, damage on the other, on a boat you just select it and click this heart here so you will add or remove wounds from it uh, this get added here um, on top of the boat for more easy, yeah, easy visual purposes but also on the on its playing card we have another tool that's called the radius tool if you want to mark some distance from any can of element, either a terrain piece, a token, or, or a ship. You can just select it, press this radio button over here, say which is the amount of inches you want to show around that element, and it will just show you like this on the map. You can here for terrain, for example, it's very um, useful to mark the two inch radius around it, so you can maneuver your ship to not collide with them. If you want to ship, see your ship's trajectory, this is also a good tool here. So you can figure out how much you need to pivot, for example, in order to use barely collide with it. In Warhol, if you have too many of these um, tools of vision at the same time, instead of being going one by one, clicking them off, you could just click this button over here to remove all lines. In the top here, you also have uh, a drawing tool where you can, with a pen, draw some lines. You can also press P for easier reference. And uh, the erase tool just beside it that will erase all those lines that you painted. In Warhol, you can also mark all the position of your ships by pressing this button over here. 
So then you go ahead and move um, a ship a bunch of times. Then say you want to take this guy's movement back. You don't have to undo everything, but you can instead just click on its marker and just that ship will take its movement back. In Warhol, we also have some um, recording functions where you can uh, take screenshots of your game. It gets saved to this um, location over here on your computer. So you can take automatically a screenshot every X minutes, or if you press Shift plus P, for example, you will take a screenshot and it will be saved to your, your folder automatically named, or you can name it yourself. Of course, you can uh, save and load games. In Warhol, we also have a camera menu here that lets you play your games in a strategic top view, if you would like to. Here in this view, you can zoom in with a mouse wheel, and if you want to go back to 3D, you just hold the right mouse button and drag it down. By holding the right mouse button, you turn around the camera, and with the wheel, you zoom in and out. If you press C, or camera 2D here, you can 2D on any position. That's very useful. If you select the boat and I'll show it, you, you don't know if it's um, colliding with the other ship or not, you can press C and then you zoom in and you see exactly um, uh, the exact measurement, the exact thing that's happening there. In Warhol, uh, we can give uh, an opponent joining the room. We see here the amount of people in the room. Uh, we just click here and right click on the name, allow to play, to allow the other person to um, to play as well. He asks us if we want to set up a new game and here we can <coughs> select our deployment to start playing straight away. In Warhol you can also roll dice by adding the amount of dice you want over here. Uh, you can roll d6s or you can change here to d10s for example. Uh, you can also have a random direction generator here when you roll it you will see an uh, arrow coming up here and if you roll, uh, roll again, you just turn around in a, in a random direction. In Warhol, you can roll, also roll any kind of die by just uh, typing here on the, on the chat. You press enter and you go like 34D53, for example, and it'll roll you 43D53. So if you wa wanna roll 1D3 or 1D4 or something like this, it's as easy as that. We also bring to you today a sneak peek of what's coming this week in Armada the very new fleet of the dwarves they will be available completely for free in warhol armada this week for the end of the month we will also launch another army and for our grand finale today we wanted to announce the very first armada warhol online tournament take the opportunity now to join in a tournament with all the armada players of the world Anyone can register just by registering, you get uh, automatically two months of free Warhol. It's full of prizes, both prizes in Warhol time and prize support coming from Mantic. This tournament starts the 5th of June, so next month. Be sure to register before the 4th of June. Four armies will be available and 200 points, three rounds, two rounds per week. Join now. So, there you go, that was a fantastic video from Hugo showing how Warhol works. Now, what's the future hold for Armada? Well, you've got ghosts, you've got pirates now, you've got lots and lots more new ways to play as sort of the bad guy in Armada. But what if I like dwarves, Johnny? If you like dwarves, and you want to be the bad guy, I suppose we'd better give you some abyssal dwarves, haven't we? Mm. Abyssal Dwarves are the next fleet in Armada and they're coming out very, very soon. And we will throw up some images for you just now so you can see just how lovely these are going to look. So Abyssal Dwarves are already massive in Kings of War. We've got lots of very dedicated players there. There's huge, spectacular models like the Hellfane that show just what can be done in resin. Um, but also, we know they're coming to Dungeon Saga Origins and mm -hmm. seen on Kickstarter. So they're going to be becoming bigger and more important across different game systems. So it's only right, really, that they take to the high seas and Absolutely. wreak terror on everybody else. Yeah. Of course, when you say bigger, they're still, they're still dwarves. They're still quite small. Yeah. Yeah. 
So here you can see some of the first concept art images of the Abyssal Dwarf fleet. Very and what nice. you can see in here is the same kind of design language, the same kind of shapes and textures and things you'll be familiar with from Kings of War and how they look in that game. Um, you know, if you look at some of the big spectacular models like the Hellfane and things like that, you can start to see a little bit of that coming across here. Um, you can see the kind of the arcane technology, the experimenting, the slight grungy, steampunky, pounding cogs and pistons, all of that is here on full show. Um, and these are shaping up to be really, really lovely sculpts. So we'll be back soon, I imagine, to show off how these ended up. But it's what we've seen so far from the tiny ships on our desks at the office <laughs> that are looking very, very cool. Yeah, really excited about them. They look uh, absolutely fantastic, don't they? Absolutely. So there we have it, guys. That's the end of tonight's fantastic show. If you have any more questions, we're still going to be around in the comments for a little while afterwards. So pop them down there and we will try our best to answer them. Unless, of course, it's you trying to get any more sneaky reveals. Um, but, talking of, what have we got coming up next week? Yeah, so where do we go next from here? So now you know a little bit about what we're doing, mm -hmm. what we're up to, where we're going. Big news straight away, Night Stalkers are out on Monday. Super popular as always. Get your orders in, um, especially for the armies and mega armies, they're always a big hit. So mm -hmm. those are coming out on Monday and they're a very popular faction. After that, we're going on to talk about the Northern Alliance. None of that now, but that's coming very soon, and that's going to be very exciting. But right now, most important thing, biggest priority, go and check out the vault. The link's down below. Absolutely. That's the, that's the newest, shiniest thing we have to talk <laughs> about, and it's, it's very cool. It's going to make the hobby more accessible. It's going to open it up to loads of new people, and therefore, new players for you to play against. Absolutely, yeah. Well, it's a... Goodbye from me, it's goodbye from Dan, it's goodbye from Ronnie and Clive, and from Hugo at Warhols. We will see you all again soon. <laughs>